Okay, I'm going to talk you through uh, some slides about uh, about uh, writing and and technology, um, uh, particularly word processors, but but also other technologies as well. Uh, and this first part is an introductory part, so the slides. Um, cover the whole of the talk but I'm going to break the video up into two parts background set you some tasks to do um, and then I'm going to come back and and, and talk about uh, other technologies as well uh, and there's a, a part uh, that that Diane uh, has a recording on the screen about and an article and then we're going to finish off uh, looking at uh, the use of uh, particularly wikis in, in collaborative writing so that's how it's going to work uh, these uh, little cartoons um, sort of set the scene but also appear as part of the the, the, the talk so I'm going to move on and, and get you to think about a number of questions. So here are some questions on the screen for you to consider. Uh, and if you'd like to pause and think about these questions um, and, then, and then start the video again. Hopefully you've then thought about these questions, made a few notes about it, about when you write and what tools you use and about your learners and, and what they do and, and how things have changed. Uh, for me, uh, writing has changed considerably. Um, certainly when I talk to different people or I've talked to different groups of students over the years, um, uh, we, we, we get a very different kind of notion of, of how much writing people do um, in their, uh, you know, as their kind of daily process whereas you know in the past very few people wrote anything very much uh, on a daily basis whereas now of course people write a considerable amount uh, using different kinds of technologies I mean maybe you know the the, the, the length of the the texts and, and SMSs that, that people send in the billions every day are quite short but you know it builds up into a considerable amount of writing and the opportunities and affordances of those tools are, are quite significant in, in what they enable us to sort of think about and allow to happen so let's think about you know the the way that writing um, is uh, has developed and our, our ideas relate to to writing and, and computers and you know the term computers um, of course is a very generic term um, but you know that includes the whole range of you know technologies from traditional you know desktop computers laptops um, obviously mobiles and, and, and tablets as well and we'll come back to process and product uh, in a little bit, um, but that's something that, that we need to, uh, you know, that we're considering more detail. But the notion of writing um, as a skill in the world is something that, that, that as I've mentioned, uh, has changed quite considerably. And, and th th what we produce as writing has also changed as well. So the, the, the texts that we produce have changed, the way that we produce them, the writing as a practice has developed quite considerably over time. And uh, also it, as part of the landscape, if you like, uh, of writing computers, it is the whole, uh, whole business of writing and, and creativity. We've always um, ha had creative writing in the background uh, of language teaching, but you know, it's become much more significant and we're able to do much more types of creative writing as a result of, of computers being in, in available. Uh, a fourth part of uh, L2 writing is increasing use of, of tools that allow some form of collaboration. So we've had collaboration around the computer for a while but but uh, and to some extent collaboration through the computer and this is what Diane talks about uh, with with email but you know those possibilities have changed quite considerably um, and as I've mentioned you know the use of wikis in writing has become quite um, a well-researched area uh, the nature of the, the, the text has changed. Um, uh, we have, uh, you know, we have multi-modal uh, texts. Um, uh, and if you think of the, the text Snowfall, that's a very good example of that. And the ability to actually produce sort of texts, um, uh, you know, your, your skills, your, the decisions that you make when you produce a text, whether you make something bold or underline it or italicize it or space it or use this font or that font, you know, those kinds of skills are very important. I mean, there's lots of um, work done around the production of text and, and the way that, that, that people producing text. You know, there was an article I read um, that, that talked about the way that, you know, if a text was desktop published, a term that's probably not used so much uh, 
anymore, but was sort of prevalent for quite a long time, it actually potentially increased the, the grade that was given quite considerably. Maybe that's not so, so true now when, when a lot of text is produced in that kind of way. And we've seen a massive change in, in the tools that were used for writing and they've increasingly become not just writing tools but also tools for communication as well. So this is another consideration. So we see an evolving view of computers and writing and, and, and language learning. We certainly started by focusing on uh, the application, the use of text processes or word processes in writing. And we've moved very much to uh, you know, the computer as a you know as a, a as a mediator as a catalyst a social facilitator in, in writing however we still have you know fairly embedded views in in society and certainly when it comes to schooling and uh, formal kind of schooling processes uh, writing is not always as creative as it could be as this uh, cartoon illustrates um, and we certainly see this still very much in the examination systems people you know have to do certain things have to perform in certain ways they have to write the way that, that, that the teacher wants them to write they don't write in that creative way and this is in opposition to um, uh, our understanding of uh, ideas of writing as a process uh, whereas white and aren't made very clear that, that writing in the modern world is not a preconceived process. It's something that uh, it's not just oriented towards the product, the final outcome. Um, and what it's, you know, it's also, you know, if you if you engage in writing as a process, you may have a starting point that's similar, but the end products are, are very different. And writing as a process has become very prevalent in, in, in language teaching as a common methodology uh, and you know, started being so in, in, in the 90s. But it originates <coughs> in the work of Hayes and Flowers uh, back in the 1980s and you can find a link uh, to this uh, chapter uh, that started people rethinking, re-evaluating uh, writing in classrooms. Uh, and this diagram here uh, illustrates uh, the, the background ideas that are, are in that. What you have to remember is that back in 1980, we were very much in uh, in, a, in a world of cognitive views on uh, on psychological development. So you have terms like long-term memory, um, and, you know, and and you know that idea that things are embedded in your kind of you know cognitive structure. So you know you have knowledge. Um, you know, knowledge of audience, knowledge of topic, knowledge of audience, and then you have you know, the schema, the idea of schema sort of stored writing plans that sort of somehow get embedded in your, um, you know, in, in, into your long term memory. But, you know, we have sort of a slightly different way of looking at that now in a kind of world where, where we see, you know, uh, you know development in, in a socio-cultural perspective. But, uh, you know, fundamentally issues are the same thing. Issues, you know, the actual issue as it sort of played out in the classroom is very similar. So people do need to have to have something to write about. They, you know, when they write, they, they need to think about who they're writing for. Um, and they also need to have a sense of, you know, how writing is going to actually play out. So if you're writing a newspaper article, how's that different from writing a short story, say, or, or producing a piece of academic text? So there is you know, knowledge uh, that, that, that is there in, in the sociocultural realm uh, that, that allows you to actually uh, begin to generate um, material um, you know, based around a topic, um, you know, a notion of audience. So you might set an assignment in a classroom uh, that, that sets a topic, you know, says it's written for this certain you know, type of people and it has maybe sort of particular you know, motivations to, 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 to try and get people to do something. So, you know, sort of, uh, you know, maybe awarding a little prize or, you know, actually getting, you know, feedback from real people or something along those lines you actually get you know a sense that you know you're you're gonna you know helps you to kind of you know do that piece of writing um, so uh, you begin by planning and organizing and sort of setting yourself targets in terms of the writing process beginning to generate you know ideas um, uh, for for what you're producing that's then translated into text 
so you take you know your 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 outline and your ideas and you begin to translate it into text. Uh, that text is produced. It's then reviewed. It's read by other people. It's edited. You know you monitor it for uh, different uh, features, different ideas. Whether it's you know it, it actually you know meets the needs of an audience. Uh, whether it's uh, you know produced um, you know uh, appropriately has the right syntax, using vocabulary effectively, and so on and so forth. And this has led very much into our notion of uh, you know editing and re-editing text so actually getting students to not just produce you know you know sit down for you know an hour and produce a text on X but actually to go through a process over a number of weeks that actually produces this text um, and the, the word processor has been very important in in facilitating that process so whereas uh, you know this um, a cartoon which kind of gets us to sort of you know think about you know what you know are the tools that, you know these are the right tools that we're using certainly the word processor as i've argued and other people have argued is you know a sort of a really key tool um, that, that that enables people to actually produce text in an appropriate way so if we look at research on word processing and you look you review the research on word processing kind of older research but but you know still research you see replicated in journals you see issues around learner attitudes uh, you look at you know the um, uh, the actual uh, way that word processors make the the, comp uh, the composing process easier um, you see research about looking at where you know whether the word process actually brings about improved writing um, and you also see uh, the kinds of uh, you know the factors uh, you know the, the fact that you can uh, show material to other people in other spaces and get feedback on it gives you know a positive benefit uh, to, to using a word processor or kind of more more sort of sophisticated you know tools that, that we see increasingly available um, you know in uh, in the world um, and back in 96 uh, Pennington brought quite a lot of those ideas together um, in, in a useful article uh, that I think helps us to kind of get a good sense of the background uh, to uh, writing with technology you know, uh, and using a process writing approach and she talked about the issues of uh, the way that technology enables you to write more easily to write more to write in different ways, you can see it's much easier to write in different ways, and ultimately to, to, to produce better text. Now there are still barriers to, to writing uh, more easily, so you know if you don't learn keyboarding skills, um, or you don't have keyboarding skills, of course, you know actually being able to word process is, is a real, there's a real serious barrier, but of course you know technology changes and we can now record uh, text in ways that we couldn't do before. And these feed very much into different sort of general stages uh, of development. We see uh, people's attitudes change, so their effective, uh, in their, their, their feelings towards writing change. We see a process effect in the sense that uh, the actual way that people write, the manner in which they write has changed. And we see a, a different product. We see products that end up being very different. Um, and uh, these, this is what technology uh, it helps us do. This is what was, what's been argued for some time and you know the background ideas that I, I've just talked through uh, certainly support that. So I'm going to stop the recording here and I want you to have a look at the next uh, uh, section of the wiki um, and, and work through both the Giovanni but also the other tasks that are there um, if you have the time. So uh, I'm just going to stop here and then I'll resume uh, in another uh, in another video.